All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Capital Culture. I'm your host, Christopher Wheeler. And today we have a huge guest in the building. But before we get to that, if you've been liking the interviews, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, with that being said, some call us the Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen of Clubhouse. Today we have the very one and only Michael Mula first. How are we doing today, boss? Pissed. Pissed. Eh? I, I, I kind of figured, you know, it's been a, it's been a developing two weeks. So I want to get into all of it. Before we get to the nitty gritty, I got some uh, opening up questions. So I'm going to start with a very simple one. I asked it to all my guests. Who is Mula first? Mula first is the guy, you know, we sum it up to he's the guy mm -hmm. and just does whatever he wants because he's not controlled. Gotcha. Now, you said something quite interesting and I kind of want to start uh, in this interview with your early childhood days. Now, um, you said something interesting in one of your previous interviews. Uh, you moved out of the house at 20 uh, and around kind of... 20, 20 something. 20, around there. Around what, what, what was that like uh, for you uh, in the first year? What were some of the challenges that you didn't expect and uh, what did you realize after leaving the house at I mean, okay. it, it was amazing, you know, like, it was amazing. When I left, I had, what, like two cars mm -hmm. out of Lexus and um, Acura EL. Were you rapping at the time? Yeah, I was mm -hmm. rapping around, the, yeah. I was mm -hmm. like 20, 20 years, or was it eight years ago? Mm -hmm. Eight, eight, seven years ago. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like, that was actually, like, the best mm -hmm. time, like, coming out. Like of the house. Did it force you to grow up own. a lot? Did it force me what? To grow up a lot. Uh, I felt like I was grown already, mm. you know, because I lived my life, my whole life when I was like 12, chilling with people who were like 22, mm -hmm. 24. Gotcha. So, you're so I was already, yeah. oh, I already, I, I maxed the, my youth out already, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Which is a gift and a curse. Mm. because it's a gift because you get to learn and you get to be ahead mm -hmm. it's a curse because you grow up too fast and uh that same laugh you got when you were 12 is not the same laugh okay okay when you get now older. you also mentioned uh you grew up with just your mother and uh you didn't really have a like a, a a role model or a father father figure when you were growing up who was the first uh person uh you remembered when you were younger that you kind of looked up to uh one of my ogs uh his name is friendship mm -hmm. he had passed away already but um the way how it goes mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying when you're a youth coming from where i'm coming from is a team of boys or a team of people get together because we all have no fathers. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's when we're as a collective now, we feel stronger and we mm -hmm. feel more, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. together. Agreed. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and then anyone who come, came around who was cool enough, who was the guy on the block, you know what I mean? Who was the first guy in, when, who, who, did, who, who came across your life and you're like, yo, this guy's the guy you know, like i want to acquire certain things in life to try and become like that guy do you what was it the fr friendship or was it uh it, maybe someone else it was one of my ogs you know okay. i had a few people like you mm. know like three or four people two three people who i would always be like okay I, you know this is the guy this is what i want to learn off of this is mm -hmm. what's going on now growing up do you find uh being a musician do you find it's easier to be more productive when you're living the single life or when you're with a, a, a female or have, a, have a, a girlfriend at your side or a partner? Um, it depends because if you, it, well, it depends what kind of fucking artist you are, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a fucking genius, like Mike, okay, Fuck. Moolah first, then it requires to be out at a certain time. I can't, be texting yeah, all day. so much. Yeah. I can't be like, oh yeah, why can we not answer my mind? I'm a genius. Okay? Mm. So there's a different level you gotta deal with. It's not easy. 
Mm -hmm. If you're a girl dealing with Mula first, genius, it's hard. Because it's like you feel like, you know, he doesn't love you or something. You feel like, mm -hmm. you know, all this, all this stuff because yeah. I love my music and I'm already married, right? Facts. So, so let, let me ask you right now, are you in a relationship or are you single? Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't if, want to. I'm I just, don't know. I'm, I, okay. Or she doesn't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out my, my shit right now. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. Now... You're so confident, and before I jump into the next uh, little chapter of our interview, I kind of want to know where your foundation of confidence came from, because it's so polarizing. A lot of people look up to it. I want to know what got you barking, and you know, in the sense of like, like, like projecting that you are that guy. When did things click for you? Oh, I just had to make forty-one videos. When's the forty-one? My, my time. This. Air is probably 41 yeah, 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 If not, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but day four is out now. Um, We're going to talk about day four for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. sorry. What was it? What no, was no, it? What no, was no, it no. I just wanted to know, like, you're so confident and you're polarized. Oh, yes. Where did you build that? Yeah. You know? So I just, like I said, a lot of left outness. Mm -hmm. People thinking, like, I'm a, it's a joke. So, like, a chip on your shoulder. You yeah, kind of people think like, it's yeah. a joke. Yeah. People think I'm joking around. Not taking you seriously oh, yeah. to a certain, a certain oh, extent. Oh, he's, he's not the best? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I just keep going. So, that's, it's just fun for me. Okay. And it's funny. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not laughing, but it's funny to me how things are going right now. It's, it's certainly interesting. And with that, uh, you said day four is coming out hmm. soon. Uh, 41st video. Look, look out for it uh, coming your way. Now, I have to ask you, we'll dive into the part that everybody probably wants to know. Uh, my first question to you is, where were you uh, when you found out you were taking off the bill for Rolling Loud? Who told you? Uh, I just, just woke up and see my name not on the... How did it make you feel? The lineup. I felt good. Interesting. Elaborate. You think that you think that hurt the final boss? <laughs> you think that hurt me? Everyone has it misconstrued. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Mm. Lots of people. I don't, I don't care. Mm. Lots of people telling me to quit. Quit. You work at Wendy's. I don't care. How about that? <laughs> the fuck? You don't see me pulling up to your drive-through saying, "Oh, you should quit." I don't care. D don't you see me still here? I'm still doing my shit. D do I look bothered? Hutsi deal, I look so smart still. Right? So I'm going inter to interject there. When I saw you make the promo originally, I, I thought this Produced by me, by the way. <laughs> the music by me, everything by me. Which none of you artists could say that. Go ahead. I thought this was an amazing i thought you you tricked me in the sense because i thought this was a rollout because i thought maybe you were going to switch off day one and come out day three because mm -hmm. i was like this is just genius you know yeah. and then I, I someone told me it was for real and i i I'm, i was disappointed and i'm sure your fans were excited to see you perform on such a big stage so like i, j I just thought it was a rollout plan it's fine my fans will get what they deserve mm -hmm. they know me already that my fans know exactly how i'm gonna operate just like before I drop day four. So when, right? when hold on, mm -hmm. you could you you could attest that I wasn't going out like that, right? Mm -hmm. When when you seen the rolling out Toronto on no, those no, outfits, no, no. Right? you is... knew that yo Mula, he's gonna do something. That's why I was I, I thought, dude, I was like, this guy is playing this shit. I'm so never done. Yeah, I'm never done, never. Okay, mm. I put in work. Mm. So just when you think I'm done, I switched the planner on you guys. Sorry, you wrong one. Yeah. Switched. You guys thought it was this one, but it's really this one. Yeah. Now I want to go into a, a few more details. Uh, no, no, no. A lot of boss last level, Mike. I've seen a lot of people walking around uh, Rolling Loud with uh, Charlie answer the phone shirts. Um, yeah. Did you try and contact Charlie when you saw your name off the bill? We'll start there. Uh, no, no, so, it was like a little, I was like, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, fine. We had a little group chat, a little rolling loud group chat, right? So I see my name Thursday. I, I, I don't see my name Thursday. Mm. 
you know, and I'm supposed to perform Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Mind you, I've been practicing for five months, putting in work for five months, 10K outfits, okay? Family fl flown over from all over the world. Sorry. No, it's all good. I'm, I'm I don't mean sorry to you. I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry to my fans because I almost forgot what I was going to say and no, I'm going to remind you no, to remind me. Don't worry. What was said. Okay. No. Sorry, sorry, I got a lot going on. I know. I know. You're busy guy. So I was basically saying if you reached out to Charlie after you saw you were taken off the lineup. Now my fault. Oh, yes. I said yes. Group chat. Go ahead. Let's yes. talk about it. So I can't tell you how I decided to make that okay right did you get a little bit of uh of, um... don't, don't ask okay don't ask so i knew i was gonna drop it at nine o'clock in the morning because all these little motherfuckers they don't get up early you know what i mean they're, they're, they're slow you know what i mean so nine in the morning i said when you see this I, there was some next guy in the group chat mm. named Cena. Shout out Cena. He he dealt with me proper. Da, 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 da. Okay, shout I out say, Cena. I yo, said, yo, Cena, what you're about to see has nothing to do with you. So you left. Mm. Left the group chat, posted it. Can't face me. God. None of you artists could do that. So did you form a group chat and post a message or you were in a group chat and you left? I just want there to was back. a rolling loud group chat. I didn't okay. make it. I okay. was I was in it the whole time when we, this because okay. we're supposed to be talking, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're supposed to be through the whole time. Da -da 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 -da, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we were and all of a sudden I I stopped something just felt weird. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Like people are not responding. I'm calling Charlie. Charlie's not answering. Do you get a sense of bullying? But from, it's fine. Do you get a sense of like they're bullying? Like in the sense of like they're. they're I'm from to... where bullies get bullied, nigga. Yeah. So I was I'm like, from where bullies get bullied. There ain't no bully. What are you talking about? Well, I just I can, mean that shit. I'm like I'm a, he's a fucking DJ. You want me to fucking go and fucking. Oh, yeah. What's good, Charlie? You fucking bitch. Yeah. You're fucking, your, your hairline's receding. And box him. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, it, it's fine. I, I, like I said, mm. you just got fired. I don't care. The fuck? Because I'm not rolling out like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be messing down man. Matt Zingler doesn't want to answer his DM. That's fine. DJ Charlie B doesn't want to answer my calls. That's fine. I don't need to go over. I'm a boss. It's fine. Hot seat deal. I look so smart, right? Mm. You think I'm fucking worried about these guys? And their little fucking thousand, fifteen hundred dollars they want to pay you? You think I care? Mm. I don't care. Yeah. My equity is straight out the roof. Assets, they're about. Now, it wouldn't. I'm not rolling loud. Mm. Rolling loud? <sighs> Come on, man. Now, uh, from your, did you <laughs> Come on. did you pay attention to uh, anything that ha uh, happened at the concert? Do you have any uh, comments on how yeah, it I, went I, down? I seen a few highlights. What was, what mean, was that? What was the biggest I mean, highlight to you? Day, day four was the big, biggest highlight for me. Okay, that makes sense. It makes it's the biggest highlight. Mm. You can't face Mula first. You guys thought you did something. You guys thought you guys did something like you must have been festival. excited to uh, it was very good that i didn't perform mm. it's okay because now people know that i'm that serious and i'm that exclusive so that's fine i'd rather people i'm different anyways do you do you i'm different anyways <laughs> okay wheeler i'm different so i'd rather stand out than be in the fucking same shit with these guys Agreed. So Plus, I wasn't even performing on no fucking um, Moose Knuckle stage anyways. I don't wear Moose Knuckle or Canada Goose. <laughs> so you got to switch that next year. So Because they said they want me back. Let's go yeah, into my next Yeah, they said they want question. me back. So you perform if they the, want me back. with the opportunity. We'll see, though. Do you feel Hopefully, like I'm not a billionaire by then. Because okay. I may have to just buy the, buy the festival. Hmm. So my next question was, if there was an open line of communication, would you perform next year? Do you feel... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. I have to ask my fans. My fans are okay. most important. They, they will know if I should do that or not. How did you go about... I see some of my fans say, I'm never going to roll it out again. Mm. Ever. And they're only going to because of me. Yeah. And let me tell you, the 200 rack shit is not a lie. 
My fan spent over $200,000. Not one, all of them. Okay? Yeah. It's $1,000 a VIP, more. Yeah. Okay? You do the math. I don't just have 200 people. I don't have to just have 200 people coming out for Moolah first. Yeah. I don't. Go through your fucking thread on my page, yeah. on my comments. Yeah. There's like 200 people. No. There's 500 comments. Were you there. excited to perform? Like, uh, in, in the sense of. Of course, I was excited to perform. So I was excited to perform for you, my fans. Do you have a plan with management to get you on a stage before the end of the year? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, we're, we're in works. You guys thought I was going out with like that? I'm That's why I'm asking. Here. They're lucky my name wasn't big. Like they're, they're lucky mm. they got to put my name on there and it wasn't big yeah. in the first place. Mm. Okay? <laughs> You're lucky I, I didn't say nothing about that. I was just keeping it cool. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But it's fine. If you guys think I'm... Uh, look at me properly. Does it look like I give a fuck? Now let me let me wait. Count. All right. Moment of silence. Ten seconds. Does it look like I give a fuck that you work at Wendy's? Baconator's pretty good. I don't eat pork. Oh. <laughs> About that. <laughs> um, Shout out to everyone who eats pork, though. You don't know, like nothing. Uh, whatever. Survival, survival. Oh my god. Um, okay, so. I lost my train of thought a little, a little there. So what? You lost the train of thought. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. I was now. laughing. I was laughing. Come on now. now. Um, so what are you? What can you give us a little bit more uh, in depth planning in the sense when can your fans expect to see you on stage Wheeler, again? I'm better than before. I know. I want to reset you. The resources <laughs> reset me. Thunder Bay, Seattle. It's fine. Mm. Maybe a tour? I'm you have a tour better out? than before. I just don't want to give up my ideas, but I will say one thing mm. on your podcast. Okay. January 1st, 2023. Okay? So I'm not going to say nothing about it. Something big is going to happen. Take that date in, though. Okay, okay. Hold on. I'm going to write it down. Write that yeah, shit down gonna... because you know what? January 1st. Everyone, I, everyone is funny. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Why did you pick that day? Why Hold did on. you just. Hold on. It looks like because it's 2023. I'm Mike. Okay. Listen. Oh. Right, right. Oh yeah, karma's a people are kill me. Oh yeah, karma's a bitch. Oh yeah. What did Hutsi have little, to say about it? Little, he's, they're your ambassador and they must have wanted to see their brand on a big stage. We'll get there. We'll you get know there. what I mean? Don't forget that question. I it's, it's there. But it's not going anywhere. People kill me. Oh, karma's a bitch. Oh yeah, he should have never said day two or day three. Nigga, fuck day two, day three, and day one. Do you what the fuck? So you Does it look like I care, people? People only care. You will know when someone cares. Yeah. They don't want to say nothing. They're just like, oh yeah, Rolling Loud took me off. Oh, the, the, oh next year, yeah, next year. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to get on the Rolling Loud's uh, yeah. uh, nerves. I don't want to hurt Matt Zingler mm -hmm. or Tariq. Yeah. Right? Mm. But it, you can tell when someone doesn't give a fuck and is not controlled, right? Why would I be moving like this? Is it because I'm broke? Exactly. That's a very good point. So if you have money, you you you, you, ha you have less money? less leash. You could say what you want. Like, so I don't that's very give fair. a fuck. I don't need your money. I don't need Rolling Loud's money. I don't care. I'm a guy. I could walk around with no money. Mm -hmm. Like I said, zero bucks or ripped jeans or ripped jeans. Not the ones these days. I know the ones ripped because fuck. Yeah. They're ripped. They're probably a hand me down mm. from my uncle or something. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. I'm just unfaceable. You're talking about care, like I care. Karma is a bitch. This, that, like. So you don't oh. regret being? Does, he, does your manager maybe? I don't say, have a manager. Okay. Um, does Take your that team? In. Do, does okay. your? I'm a, I don't have a manager. Okay. I am everything. I am vocal production. I am production. I am executive producer. I am a beat maker. I'm an artist. I'm a rapper. I'm a legend. I'm a goat. Okay? Okay. Without having singles on charts, a billboard. This is what's the without the, being on tour. Where is it? Where's our both of us cap? That sees both of us. This one? That one. Without being on fucking tour. I, I I've done I've done a lot. I've dropped 40 videos thus far. Mm. I don't really think anything could touch me. Drake said face who? 
Why do I care about you guys? I made the biggest artist in the world. Say face who? Okay? You guys are nothing to me. Fact. Peasants. All you old Toronto rappers, peasants. Nothing to me. Okay? I'm probably already worth more than all of you guys put together. Okay? <laughs> Bums. You guys go see my equity. You guys don't even have equity. You guys don't even know what that is. Pissed. You can face me. Talking about rolling loud. Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into... what. Oh, what did Hutsy say about yeah, it? Yeah, we're going to get into that. But I have another... You just mentioned Drake. And you have... You, so, me and you are doing Clubhouse. Don't forget the Hutsy. You made him drop in. So, you must have some pull with him. Do you have any plans? Oh, I did that too. Yes. I forgot. Yeah, talk to him. I almost forgot that I was the first person to bring Drake inside Clubhouse. I almost forgot that. Sorry. I'm too busy working on my fucking legendary career. Okay? <laughs> Pissed. Okay, so is there depression. any... Depression who? Depression can't face me. You guys thought I was upset? I'm Mike. What's wrong with you guys? Say Wendy's. And shout out the people who were actually work at Wendy's and shit that are not haters and shit. I'm not talking to you guys. You said the Baconator was good. Okay? Same. I'm talking about the people in the con or wherever they are and want to talk shit on Mula first. You guys work somewhere. UPS or something. Someone. I'm not pulling up to your job saying you should quit. Someone's got to deliver the mail. Nigga, who are you? Look what I've done. Look what Mike has done. And you're here telling, you're here telling me to quit. You're here on my page telling me to quit. Shouldn't I be smiling? Like, that's a, that's a W to me. Mm. That's a win. You're here on my shit. It's okay. That means viewers. Go ahead. So having so much pull with arguably the greatest artist in in the on the planet right now. Do you have any plans with him to work uh, with him? Maybe Drake. Drake knows what's going on. You know what I mean? Mm. Once I do whatever, yeah, the plan know. is. Mm. It's over. Okay. okay. Once, once, Timing. What? Timing. once people say, ah, oh, fuck, Mula, fuck, he's getting too big, ah, oh, fuck. I gotta do business with the man. Drake knows he gotta do business with me as soon as I get to that mm. certain. So there was a conversation. Point. I'm not gonna say there was a conversation, but I know what's good because I'm a genius, remember? Mm. And what I was saying about that genius thing, there's a difference between a genius and just a rapper. Of course. The rappers, they can have girlfriends. Go, go ahead. Go have a girlfriend. You guys don't have, you guys probably don't even love what you're doing anyways. You know what I mean? Mm. So you guys won't be out there putting in that work. Da, da, da. You guys just rap to rap. Mm. They want to rap and say, well, they're not rappers and shit like that. Da, da, da. So th that's basically what I'm getting at. Is a rapper, he can have a girlfriend. Ease, with ease. Mm. Geniuses, it's harder. Because we're, we're on to billion dollar shit and we can't fuck that up. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've seen it happen with all these people. Well, with when all you the have billionaires, Bill Gates. When, when you have a, such you know high I mean? intelligence, it's kind of hard to have an also high yeah, emotional yeah. intelligence. Especially when, the girl, different, especially right? when the girl's not so, on your level, just mentally. Mm -hmm. well, it's not it's, her fault. Yeah. No, it's no, just that yeah. I'm out of this world. Mm. You know what I mean? I and you, and I, I can't even be faced. Mm. So, and then especially if the girl's because I only talk to pretty girls. Like, insanely beautiful. Okay. Okay? I feel So, you. when the girl's insanely beautiful, mm. she feels like she's well, and the it's guy. To, and she, it, and it's feels, a distraction, She you feels know? like she's the guy. But it's not a distraction. It's for me, because I'm Iron Mind, Iron Mike. Fuck. I know it's true. Stronger Mind than me. We get into arguments. That's fine. Mm. It's cool. Go have your fun. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Focus. Tunnel vision. I forgot. I'm gonna take I forgot. Day. Like I said, if mm -hmm. I'm going to argue. Waste time. I might as well. Okay, I'll argue. I, I'm, ah, fuck, I'm pissed. Well, guess what? I'm going to the studio. Hot seat deal. I look so smart. Okay? Like, mm. I'm going to the studio to get it done. Mm. Because if I'm going to be. If I'm, I'm going to not make it and we're going to argue, that's just arguing. But if I make it. We're still gonna argue, and I rather it that way. Mm. I made it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. I feel you. I feel you. kind of a full. But I'm not coming off my path 
to be like, oh yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck, I'm not even working today. Fuck it. Mm. No. Hatsi, mm -hmm. they, they love you as an ambassador. It would have been a great opportunity for them to be seen on such a big stage, rolling loud. You what did they say? What did, talk to us. That's what I want to know. Thank you. Hatsi said, we're going to buy rolling loud. Okay. Okay. We're Pissed. gonna buy Rolling Loud. Okay. Is that is that so for next year? When it will like? Well, I don't know if it's for next year, but mm -hmm. okay. We we will definitely be generate like we, we generate already more money than yes. Rolling Loud as a whole, and oh. they do festivals around the world. We're just one Canadian bank. Okay. It's just billions of dollars we're talking about here. No, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. You guys think this is a joke? They thought it was a joke. I thought they it was think it's a joke that you think someone would fucking with a bank, someone who made a bank is a joke. This is <laughs> billions of dollars we're talking about. Mm. This is one cop from RBC. Okay? And all of us are billionaires just in the one shot. I, I don't care. Mm. I'm already set. My back end is already set. I don't have to rap another day in my life. I just want to because I have fans and I love my fans. I don't have to though. Mm. Okay? Like okay. I said, like, I, I could be doing anything I want right now. Mm. You know? But I just care too much. There's still niggas in the streets right now. Okay? That need help. There's still people that need help in the streets. Mm -hmm. I'm not selfish. Okay? But like I said, if I wanted to be, I could. I could just go, leave. Go to Peru or um, wherever, mm -hmm. okay? And it will be fine. I don't have to rap another day in my life, okay? Mm -hmm. My back ends already millions of dollars. Cannot speak to me, okay? Okay. I'm just I, working on my front end, I have which some is the commercials and stuff. Alrighty, alrighty. So back from our first little intermission. Before we get started, I just want to shout out John Perez, my uh, producer. Big guy in the game coming up, so shout out John. Now, we kind of uh, left at uh, a little uh, intermission and we were talking about Hutsi. I really want to know, and I think your fans want to know in the sense of, if I, like, I have good credit, but I'd love to know how Hutsi can help me if I want to sign up. And me and my team are actually talking about it and saying, you know what, he's been promoting it. He's been nice enough to show up here. Mm -hmm. I might as well invest in it or maybe even get, get a card. So maybe break down uh, a little bit about the card and uh, help me understand why it's going to help me so much. And I'm, da I'm definitely down. Well, first things like there's not like, it's not just the credit program. Mm. So that, that's what thing everyone has wrong. It's not only credit program. It helps you save your money, helps you do a lot of things. You just got to go on the site, got to look at debt management, the credit building program. The, there's just a lot of programs mm -hmm. in it to help everyone Do you considering we just did a deal with apple nike that's crazy old navy that's crazy okay like, like, those are big names man. And, those are and, huge. and more and more coming mm -hmm. you know what i mean but you like there's a there's tons of stuff you shop at nike you're yeah. wearing nike right now yeah, yeah so if you went to nike you use your hutsy card which yeah. you signed up for yes. swipe whatever da, 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 you get cash back on your Hutsi card for it, okay? Like wow, you get cash back for it. That's 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 one thing. Another thing is, if you have a job, say you work at fucking, Wendy's. I don't know Wendy's, Bacon for example, is. Kelsey's. Okay, you can get your paycheck early without waiting for your paycheck because this is just how we designed it. I know it's so hard to be true. Mm hard to believe but sooner or later when it's launched mm -hmm. everyone beside you guys is gonna have a Hutsi card you're gonna be in line at Whole Foods or No Frills or Walmart and you're gonna see someone pull out a white or pink or blue or black Hutsi card uh, color, color, are there different levels to the colors there? No, it's all the okay. same. It's just for girls. You yeah, want, yeah, you, want, yeah. you want to have some fun? Go, go, go pink. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, go, do, you want to, you know what I mean? Feel like you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you want a light blue? Uh, let's go, light blue mm -hmm. today. You want to feel like you have a black card? We're going with a black card today. You want to feel like you sell cocaina? White card. White card. All right, all 
I got you that. know right. so yeah like you all and I for to get your paycheck early all you have to do is direct deposit for your job and that's it yeah direct sign up for Hutsi. yeah and then you show that you, you have show the direct like deposit it. yeah and you say hey Yo, I need I need my paycheck early I can't wait these t- two weeks mm. and you get your paycheck why wouldn't you want to do that you go to Apple. You have an iPhone. You have an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have an iPhone. Makes sense. You swipe out. You did it all. Go to Apple. You get cash back for that. Mm. Okay. Like, it's 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 a thing that Canada has never seen before, or ever in the world has ever seen before. So, how did you come across it? Like, how did like like so? You're very successful in the music industry, and you're sitting with your team. And no, you don't have a manager. Uh, how does that conversation uh, come about? To we're gonna approach Hutsi, or did Hutsi approach you? How did that relationship start? I am Hutsi. What do you mean? So this is your company. I've I've, I've been. You guys just don't know. I just I, I tell you guys what I want to tell you guys. Okay. Like I'm 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 different. You 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 chill around me for long enough, you be like, oh, this thing is fucking sick. Yeah. Like a sicko. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chill around because you be chilling me right now. I have the biggest deal ever, and you won't even know. Cause I sit there and like I, I just I just chill and I run the game. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Most of the times I like to see how people would treat me, so I don't tell no one nothing. No one, not even my mom. I'll fire my mom. <laughs> how about that? Yo, clip that. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't tell. No one knows how much money I have. Mm-hmm. No one, and you will never know how much money I have. But you want to be even if it goes on the Forbes list. But you want this go is on, where it's going. Well, you say you're gonna be a billionaire by next exactly. Year. So, but just because I have 1.3 billion dollars doesn't mean I have 1.3 billion dollars just because they're saying I have 1. Yeah, 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 of course. 1.3 billion dollars on the net worth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're never gonna know how much money I have. You could just have an idea. You could. Lots of people think I'm broke. Mm-hmm. Lots of people think I'm rich. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you think what you want to think. Mm-hmm. Because broke people, I don't think they act like this. Rich people don't act like this. I either. will say your 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 analogy um, with me. with with Rolling Loud was very true. Because if you don't have a leg to stay on, you're gonna be very quiet. Exactly. But if you're if you're floating on a big raft mm-hmm. that's secure, excuse my analogy here. Yeah, exactly. You can you can fucking yell where the fuck, fuck you I want. want. It's fine. So your proof's in the pudding is what. Yeah, I'm like I know, yeah. I know what's going on. Mm. I know. So, I know I'm due millions of dollars. I know. Mm. You think it was rolling loud? You guys just got paid fifteen hundred dollars. Everyone got paid fifteen hundred dollars. And that was a set price. Okay? You know that people that people say they they want to get they they get more and this is no. Show us the contract then. Mm. There is no contract. Rolling loud would never even fucking gave us. Contract. Well, one Toronto artist got fifty thousand. Yeah, according. which is a lie. Did you see it? Did you see the paperwork yourself? Uh, uh, because I, I know a lot of people that like to show off things, okay? And you're a show off, right? You like to show off, oh, you have this bus down here, you have bus, this bus down there. How come you can't show me a million dollars since you're a show off? Hmm? A, a full ticket. How come time. you can't show me the rolling loud receipts mm. saying, oh yeah, 50,000, but your mouth is big enough to say, oh yeah, I have 50,000. Yeah. I said, yo, girl, you want to, uh, don't, don't be bothering me. Fix your credit. That's what I said in a song, right? Yeah. Ain't I here fixing people's credit? Do I not have a company fixing people's credit right now as we speak? Yeah. Well, you're giving back to the community, which is huge. Yeah. I do like so uh, hold on. I'm saying, hold on, my bad. Reverse. I'm doing what I'm saying. Okay, because mm. at first people, oh, people thought I was getting at them. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you just have debit. You can't roll with me if you just have debit. Nigga, I actually made a debit card to build your credit. Yeah. And people still want to be like, oh, it's a scam. Yeah. I don't care. You work at Wendy's. As I said, Baconators are the good. The fuck? Go ahead. Most of you guys watching this do not have credit. And I can look into your soul and say, yeah, you don't have credit. And you have to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I don't have credit. Whether you want to say I don't have credit out loud, you know it with inside yourself. You do not have credit. 
What girl wants to lay with you? <laughs> Sorry. Okay? We don't know. And then all the girls that don't have credit and, and trying to move like niggas, like, you, you, like niggas is supposed to take care of you. Bye. Pissed. That's not me. It's not Mike. Go ahead. Call me broke. That's fine. Hot seat deal. I look so smart. You, that, that's the whole part of being a guy. Someone can come and be like, oh yeah, fucking, yo, I thought you were rich. This, these are real stories. Because everyone watches me. Everyone likes to, to watch Moolah first and oh yeah, he just showed, I don't know, probably 100K or he showed fucking- I've never even seen you flash money. Show money, right? Ever. I, I, so just, I don't, it was yeah. just an analogy. It was gotcha, just an analogy. Gotcha, gotcha, like, gotcha. Like, I don't know, like mm. he showed something. I don't know, he showed his credit card or he, sh he showed how much jackets he has or he used it and da da da. Like they want to be like, oh yeah, this guy has money, mm -hmm. okay? And they're broke, okay? So these are the people that, oh yeah, since this person has, think I think he thinks he, I think, think I think he thinks he has money. Yes. Let me approach him. I like, yo, get me this, mm -hmm. right? Well, they usually say broke people show money, uh, rich people show their lifestyle. Yeah, so and it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, get me this or da, da da da. Oh, I thought you were a boss. Yeah. I thought you were rich. Mm. But you know what happens when the guy is involved with that? That's what I said. When you're not the guy, then yeah, those things will probably hurt you. And they'll probably be like, oh my God. Yeah, the girl just said, oh, I thought you were a boss. Yeah. Now, do you know? No, not yeah. Wait. Okay. Do you know what, like, when you say that to Moolah first, oh, I thought you were a boss, but yo, you can't get me these, these shoes right here. Do you know who you're dealing with? The Hudson Bassett. You're, 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 like, you're, you're not dealing with some fucking low class nigga mm. okay i help people who want to be helped okay mm. so if you want to be helped if you have a business okay registered okay moolah's gonna fund that moolah's gonna help you You're close enough to me moolah's gonna help you a little vc action. okay okay yeah like moolah's gonna help you mm. you come to me with some nonsense oh yeah i want this fucking shoes fendi shoes that have nothing to do with anything. How we're gonna get the fuck out of here. But you're watching me because, oh yeah, I say yeah. Because I have the jackets on and I have the nice mochas on and I have this and that, nigga, I earned that. I, me, I put in work, blood, sweat and tears for that. We're not sharing. But if you have a good idea, you'll... But if you have it. a good idea, mm. Moolah's going to go above and beyond for yeah. you. Mm. That's how I work. Okay? Mm. You have a good idea, you have a good business, you have a good... You're trying something. You want to release a hair product. You want to do this, that. You want to do makeup. Moolah's all for it. Moolah will so go to you, Sephora and buy Sephora for you. So I just, I feel like you're insinuating you've, you've helped a few girls open up a boutique or a beauty boutique. Is no, that I'm something? not saying that. Okay. I'm just saying my, 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 I'm just giving you the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this conversation about two days ago. Yeah, yeah. I've also, I've heard that rhetoric before uh, with someone famous online recently about helping girls start businesses. And I, it leads me into my next uh, question and your next business venture actually, because mm -hmm. I know it's not completely up right now, but you do have uh, good ideas and good visions for it. So with that, I kind of want to know uh, how far uh, your fans, myself, and everyone in this room can expect uh, the Re Revenge Academy uh, program to be up and running. Revenge Academy, that should be very soon because I'm get, about to get lots of money soon. Okay. More where I can, not saying I don't have money now. So you, but I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm, I'm hooking up a lot. Like, so you get your money, you're gonna reinvest right away. That's smart to me. I just heard I, that. You're like, I'm is, waiting to get money to reinvest it. It's not ready to get I money do. to get mochas, mochas. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this is what I do. And mm. if, if if anything, I will sell these. Mm. I don't care. The mm. fuck, I don't care. I'll sell these for a video. Mm. It's it's fine. I will always be that person. Okay. I don't love it, da, 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 like, I don't care. I, if I love something more than you, I'm going to sell it. I have the fucking, uh, um, is there anything the, four, the off-white four is at home. Is there anything that's priceless to you? That Every you week I think about selling those. <laughs> but then I got a paycheck and I'm like, I don't need to sell them. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I should still sell them. Mm. Because 
more the merrier. Who taught you financial literacy? I had to learn. Mm. I had to go on YouTube everywhere. And I had to learn. I started from nothing. I didn't know nothing. I was a dumb idiot. I fucked off on two um, credit cards. Fucked off on Rogers bills. Fucked off on Bell bills. Fucked off on every bill. Okay? I hear you. Like, I fucked off. Okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm finally happy. For being responsible. But I'm pissed. Okay? But I'm finally happy. Mm. It's fine. I don't, I don't, my life is going to go good. If I die, I'm, I'm, I just need to have children probably right now. Okay, so you want to continue the legacy. If I die, my kids are good. It's fine. Moolah second or Moolah third? No Moolahs. Earn your own name. Can't face me. <laughs> okay. Will ne- you, you, you will never be as good as Mike. If I die today and my kid grows up, watch this you will never be as great as mike no i think and this is for you to push harder okay this is for you to be to try to be better than mike to show the world you're better than mike but you don't get anything easy just like these girls okay Mm. they don't get anything easy man woman yeah of course i'm the bank though i'm gonna decide what you do what my girl does what my kid does whatever a boy or a girl okay i will decide Oh, you have a good idea? You just don't want to smoke weed? Okay, that's fine. You don't. You just don't want to have like, oh yeah, daddy gets this room. No, 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 no. Sorry. I treat mm-hmm. everyone like that. Mm-hmm. Everyone. Yeah, of course. I'm not an asshole. So if I am. Mm. But <laughs> if, like, I, I got you. I'm still a nice person. Mm. I'll still, I'll still, when you deserve it though. If you deserve it, I got you. Mula got you. I'm the best person to be on the good side of. I don't doubt. Mula got you. Okay. You you wanna you wanna you wanna act sick on Mula? You're gonna catch cancer. All right. So we've heard um, your plans, um, what you've accomplished for your fans at home. What do you have, or what they, can they be excited for? And then I'll even hone in on a, a better sentence. Why should they care about Mula first? Uh, in 2023 and at the end of this year what's coming for them to be really attentive one like I'm not asking for no one to care this is remember I said like I don't need to do this I'm only doing this because like I want to I don't need to though there's a difference between wants and needs okay like, what you could expect from Mike is just like, he's always there. You could trust him. Mm. You know what I mean? You could trust him. Consistent. He's not going to go away. He's not just going to leave me hanging. A lot of people, like, uh, this Rolling Loud situation, like, a lot of people would would be hurt by this situation. Absolutely. Like, there would be, like, the amount of people that's like, oh, hold your head up. Hold it. Da, 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 da. I hope you're okay. Are you okay? How dare you talk to me like <laughs> it, that hurt the final boss? Like it chipped my armor or something. Are you okay? You must have something wrong with you. I get it. You're trying to be all loving and shit, but bro, understand my character. Mm. Understand who I am. I'm Mike. I see that stuff. I laugh. Let's go. You guys thought you guys could face me? Watch. Look what you guys are in for. Look what you guys are in for. Okay? You guys are in for a treat. (laughs) (laughs) You guys are in for a treat. Thank God I care. I don't have to walk on eggshells, nigga. I'm walking on water. (laughs) Facts. (laughs) Idiots. Well, with that. Cha. Well, with that being said, we are going to head into our next game segment. So I appreciate you sitting down with me for our interview portion of the show. Now we're going to get a little messy and we're going to learn about uh, Mula first and let's see if he, he really talks that talk. So with that being said, thank you, Mula, for doing the interview. Yeah, no problem. We're about to roll into Wheel It or Deal It, sponsored by Uniquify. All right, yo, so that's Christopher Wheeler on Capital Culture with Iron Mike. Michael Phelps, Michael. We'll catch you next time. And again, if you've been liking the interviews, make sure to like, subscribe. Shout out my sponsors, Unicify, Wheeler, Wheeler, Quads Inc.
Who gives a fuck? Exactly. Yeah, fuck, fuck the outro. Fuck Get the into outro. The fucking game. Yeah. Mike's there. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs>